respected chair of today's conference, fellow speakers, and all my friends fighting for social justice. Congratulate you for this uh, second conference. And let me thank you very much on behalf of our party, CPIM Liberation, for inviting us to this important conference on this most important agenda before the Indian people. After 75 years of India's independence, social justice should have been an important prominent feature of Indian democracy, should have been a guarantee for the people. But unfortunately, we find that the situation today is becoming increasingly hostile, inimical to the very concept and values of social justice. And that's why it becomes uh, all the more important for all of us fighting in defense of democracy, fighting in defense of the constitution, and fighting to free India from the clutches of fascist aggression to highlight the uh, social justice as a central plank of popular mobilization and for the ongoing battle of the Indian people. Today we find there are multi-pronged attacks on social justice. First of all, the constitution itself, which is the foundation for social justice, is under systematic attack. Secondly, on the economic plane, we find intensified corporate aggression. And this corporate aggression robs the people of their right to resources, access to resources, and their rights. And increasingly, since uh, the ascent of the Modi government at the center in 2014 and more so in the last few years, we find there is systematic subversion of social justice even in the very limited understanding of reservation. So let me very make it very clear. On the one hand, we find EWAs which uh, subverts the very constitutional idea of reservation. And now with this uh, Vishwakarma Yojana, we find that the people are being sought to be tied down to their traditional caste-based occupation. So we are very sure that our battle will have to be fought on different planes at the same time. First of all, the constitution in its preamble talks about justice as a whole, social, economic and political. And so to, for social justice to be strengthened, we need economic justice, we need political justice. We, uh, Ambedkar always emphasized liberty, equality and fraternity as an integral package and equality too, social as well as economic equality. So today when uh, we find growing economic inequality, growing social inequality and growing erosion of uh, our civil liberties, citizenship rights, when citizens are being sought to be reduced to uh, subjects as though in a kingdom, so naturally social justice becomes undermined. So today we, our battle is for the entire gamut of citizenship rights, the entire gamut of constitutional rights so that we can have a better environment and better foundation for social justice. We have raised the demand for caste census and for expanded reservation. By expanded reservation, I mean increased cap for reservation and also extension of reservation to private sector so that reservation becomes more meaningful. But reservation by itself has of course proved to be, even though it's an affirmative action, but it has proved to be of limited impact. What is needed is increased social mobility, increased uh, right, expanding rights of the people. So it's very important for us to make sure that the battle for social justice is fought on the social plane. And I'm sure that uh, the coming together of the broad spectrum of non-BJP parties and especially parties committed to the battle for social justice, to the goal of social justice, to the goal of social equality, to the goal of uh, citizens' liberties and rights. I think this will definitely strengthen this battle. So with this, uh, let me thank once again the organizers for organizing this conference on this important topic. I'm sure this message will uh, reach every section of Indian people and we'll be able to join hands and uh, march together to realize the dream of social justice, realize the dream of freeing India from the clutches of the fascist forces who are trying to push India back uh, on the lines of Manusmriti, on the lines of uh, uh, a kind of monarchy in the 21st century. All of us who uphold and cherish the values of the freedom movement 
and the goals of social transformation, we will be able to defend this goal, realize this goal and defeat the forces of destruction of injustice and inequality. Thank you very much.